we're back. Yes. Okay. Um, nice one, little number today. Another one of our uh, little acquisitions from the Time Burner. Mm. This one is from Mr. Mark Elliott. He was the man behind Time Burner. He was. He was the evil genius mm -hmm. behind Time Burner. Um, now, company, Flavor Before Fire. Yep. Now, there's some words to live by. Um, he does some quite interesting stuff. Mm. Uh, we, you know, we, we've tried his jerk paste. Yeah, and that's, that's got some good flavour. It's, it's, it's really good. So, mm. when we were looking through his bits and pieces, his wares on his stall... We came across this one. This is mango. Now I got excited because I, I I'm having a secret love affair with mango chutney. Don't tell Vicky. Um, me and mango chutney. Yeah, I really do have a thing mm. for it. So when I saw the word mango, I got quite excited. Mm. Mm. However. Not a chutney. <laughs> You'll get over it, it's fine. It is a sauce. It is a sauce, mm. yeah. Now, on the website, it says a tangy, fiery, and fruity Caribbean style hot sauce made with fresh mango, 30%. Mm -hmm. Scotch bonnet chilies, our favourites, 12%. Apple cider vinegar, fresh ginger, garlic, and onion. Rounded off with the sweetness of honey and selected spices. Now that just sounds good. Mm. It's also got salt and contains mustard. I'm just looking at the ingredients on the actual thing. So uh, it does say that it is not vegan friendly. So the vegetarians won't won't yeah. like this one because it's got honey in it. Yeah. Um, but other than that, you know, the vegetarians are fine with it. Yeah. So, all good. Oh, it's a great colour, isn't it? Mm. Lovely colour. You look at that. Yeah. And you can see all those little pieces of scotch just, on it in there. Look at it. Nice consistency. Nice and thick. But, yeah. Let's give this bad boy a indeed, go, shall we? indeed. Of choice. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Here we are, look. Mm, no ice consistency. Smell that. Tell me what you smell. I can smell the apple cider vinegar, but I'm just. It just smells so fruity. It smells of bonnets. And it stinks of bonnets mm. in a good way. <laughs> that is, yeah. That's not cutting into a bonnet fresh. It is. Isn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah. Getting this straight in there. Get a wet one of choice. Now that's a nice. I don't know how well you can see that. Try and show you as much as possible. It's very, very fine. Actual chunks in there. So it's not been pureed to. Uh, yeah, as it, it hasn't been to a to a paste. No, it's uh, it's, it's still got some texture there. Yeah, so God, it smells even better out of the jar. Picking the vinegar up now. Yeah, but it's so such a fruity smell. And the garlic and the mm. ginger. Hmm. Okay. Well, cheers. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. You've got that initial sweetness, and then you've got a little bit of the, the salmonness with the vinegar, and then it's pow with the bonnet. <coughs> but you can taste everything. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Um, no, it's, got, it's got a really good heat to it. I'm getting the garlic, mm. 
getting the ginger. Yeah. Something tells me there might be some peppers in there. Um, One or two. Maybe. Could be the burning. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really fresh bonnet taste. What I'm looking for is the honey. You see, I've got sweetness to start with. I'm getting, yeah, just for me, it's on the tail end. But I was looking for that, that kind of honey mm. flavour and the, the sweetness there. Um, it's fresh tasting. Even the ginger and the garlic taste fresh, mm. which is a nice touch. Um, yeah. And then you get the heat. And the heat is bonnet heat. So for me, I tend to get bonnet heat kind of here and here. Mm. So I've actually got, I've got a bit kind of all over my tongue. A little bit towards the end, mm. maybe, but, but all yeah. over my tongue, but yeah, certainly like this sort of warming sort of, I don't know, it's that nice almost like whiskey kind of warmth that mm. you get. It kind of goes down there now that on a uh that with popper doms i think can be amazing that as a dip will be amazing that with jerk chicken would be amazing i, I would be careful with what i use that with okay okay if you were using it as a dip you need to bear in mind it's got quite not stupid heat but it's got quite a heat there yep. uh, to it so poppadoms yes putting it on food and cooking the food probably not no i think there's a condiment to the food mm. so i said on, on the side with some jerk chicken that you just have a little bit of that drizzled on i think we'll just add a lovely fruitiness to it mm. Now, oh, I'm really getting the mango now. he's given this a three out of four for heat. Um, I think this might be one of his older labels because I think he does stuff out of six now. But yeah, um, so that would be a four out of six out of ten, work, working on the website, a heat rating six, out of, six ten. out of ten. So kind of just over halfway. OK. And I'm, I'm, I would almost be inclined to agree with that. I think for me, that's sitting around about four or five. Yeah, I would say probably a four. You know, um, bear in mind I've only had one spoon. Yeah, I, I think a couple more spoons of that be a solid four. Yeah. Um, Taste-wise, though, it's really good. Mm. Really, Still really good. Still going. Still going with the heat as well. You can pick out every flavour. Mm. And that, that takes some artistry. Good but, work, Mr. Elliot. Yes. We approve. Hmm. Look at you eating something that's not mango chutney. Well, it has got mangoes in it, yeah. so I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. I kind of fooled myself into that one. Um, very good indeed. Check out Flavor Before Fire's website. It's in the uh, description there. Pop along, have a look at his stuff. Um, he's got some really interesting bits and pieces in there. Mm. Really are. And a really good range as well. Yeah great tasting stuff so yeah check them out but i think uh, for now that's probably enough from us i think so so thank you ever so much for watching don't forget slap the old sub button on the way out and uh, we'll catch you again in the next one take care for now see you soon